going on guys? Welcome to the Fusion Media Hub, your gathering place for all the modern and retro gaming reviews and YouTube video reviews on the web. I am the Jerry Kunith. And I am Josh Tyler. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for all the overwhelming feedback and views we've gotten from people and subscribers as well. Um, thanks to Hugh because he's been a big part of that Absolutely. as well. Before we get started with the rest of the show, I just want you guys to know we want to hear from you. We want to hear feedback on you know, YouTube video reviews. Uh, we want to hear feedback on what videos you want us to do. Everything. What games you want us to do because ultimately this show is all about you guys. This is your show. So send me a personal message. Leave a comment below what you want us to do and we'll do our best to get your suggestions on there. If we do use your suggestions, mm -hmm. you will get a shout out and credit for it. So the more the merrier. It's good for all of us. Having said that and gotten that out of the way, let's get on to this week's Retro Gaming Review. Hugh, what do you have for us this week? Hey guys. So, the game this week, I know you've probably all been wondering, and I'm just going to give a couple of hints before we actually get to announcing the game. So first off, the first hint is, it, this is based on my favourite console, pretty much ever, I could say. And if you watch me on YouTube, then you will know what I'm talking about. Well, not the game, but the console. And secondly, this game is known everywhere. You know, when people think of this console, they usually think of this game. Or it's one of a couple of games. Let's get away to reviewing Super Mario 64. Let's go, guys. Okay, here we are with the graphics for Super Mario 64. And one thing we got to realize here, this was the Nintendo's first transition from the 2D realm into the 3D realm. And I think they did a killer job with it, and I don't think anybody knew what to expect. They did a fantastic job keeping the Mario character Mario, and they did a great job capturing him and the other characters in the game. The other thing I noticed is the vibrant colors. Again with the green, the small detail with the shadows, the spinning coins, the glare off of the bombs. Fantastic job with that as well. And really, I think, again, the first party platform they could get the most out of. I give the graphics a 9. Jerry, what do we have for sound? Again, for the sound, you know I'm a big fan of the retro material for the uh, Mario games. Or for any game, for that matter. And the first thing you hear when you turn the system on after Mario says it's, it's a new Mario, you hear that classic retro Mario tune from the NES game. What a great start to pull people in. Now this is all composed by Koji Kondo. He does a really good job of putting you into the moment and putting you into the environment with the music. When you're in, um, you know, a snow level, you just have that cool feeling of, uh, you know, being frigid all the time. When you're in the desert, you feel like you're in the desert. You're in a lava level. He, he just pulls that emotion out of the level and into the music. And I don't think he could have done any better with the material they were working with. So I'd give sound a 9. Hugh, what do we have for gameplay? Thanks, guys. So the gameplay review from me for this is going to sound a bit like, and only a bit, like my Super Mario Sunshine gameplay review, simply because, well, first off, Sunshine is the sequel to 64. And basically, it's kind of the same goal, you know. Explore as much as you can in the area and collect 120 stars to finish the full game 100%. And then there's bonuses at the end as well, might I add. But I think the thing that differs Super Mario 64 from Sunshine is the fact that there's a lot more wide range of places to go, both in scenery and things to do. So it goes from, anything, from things like the Turtle Mountain to starting levels and everything like that. It's just a brilliant gameplay that they've done with this and they've mapped it out brilliantly and it ties in with the graphics and the sound perfectly as you've probably heard from Josh and Jerry by now and thinking about this one gameplay I'm gonna give a 9 I'm giving it a 9 because I think a 10 would be too overrating for this and I think it needs a tiny bit of criticism for the fact that in some parts for some people, you may get stuck, you may have moments where you're thinking, hmm, where do I go, what do I do, what should I do now? But in a way, that's kind of a charm, so yeah. Now I'm gameplay school for this, guys. So guys, let's do the overall for Super Mario 64. So, basically, I'm just going to recap that the fact that all of us gave it a 9 score. We didn't actually conference with that, we just actually did it. So I think that's showing a very, kind of, 
safe score for this game. And I'm going to say the same thing for all of these segments, you know, saving the time, great game, perfect score for the game. Why didn't we give it a 10? I would say because if you give it a 10, it's saying it's perfect, there's no faults, you know? Of course, it's a game, there are mostly faults in it. But seriously, this game is perfect for the 9, and I congratulate it on that. So for the overall, I've thought and thought and thought like I did last time. And um, I think I've come to a conclusion, so take a guess what you guys think. Guessed? Well, you probably haven't, but let's go ahead with it anyway. So, 9.5. 9.5 score for this game, guys. Super Mario 64 overall 9.5. Nice score. So, one thing left to do in this episode now. Check out the YouTube review. Thank you, Hugh. And uh, now it's on to the YouTube video review. Jerry, what do we have? Well, this week is actually um, found by Hugh when Hugh and I were searching the other night online mm -hmm. and uh, discussing what videos we're going to use next week. Uh, it's actually, it surprisingly doesn't have many views. Really? So this might be new to you guys as well. It is titled Kid Playing Basketball on Trampoline. Uploaded by Josh Booth 07 Oh, and thank you for uploading it, my friend. Yes. And you're probably wondering, it doesn't really have that explosive of a title. Yeah, what's so strange about the kid playing basketball on a trampoline? Well, at first glance, you wouldn't think it's anything big, but <laughs> just let's watch it and find out. Okay, so this looks like something we do on some boring afternoon. Yeah, I, I've never understood the whole trampoline thing myself, but, you know, it I guess pretty, it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it looks it. I mean, it looks like they're trying to, uh... Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, it doesn't bend that way. That hurts. That hurts. And look at... The, the basket is not even part of the trampoline. That's... You know, that's a hazard. Yeah. They, they had no idea how to get him off of there. He's writhing in pain. The other two are fixing the basketball hoop. <laughs> No well, idea what to, to do. Listen to his screams and pain, though. <laughs> he deserves wow. it. What, what the hell are you trying to do? Uh, yep, the black man's bolting. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you had a friend in such a perilous situation? I would probably leave them just like they did. Well, I guess that justifies all their actions then, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. He got what he deserved, in my opinion. It's a teenager, you gotta expect that. Like I said, it was probably some boring Sunday afternoon, wanted to spice it up a bit, and, uh, they spiced it up. Yeah, you gotta get a little out of it. And I, lo I just love how his friends just ditched him. <laughs> that is the part. And, it, and the black guy was the first one to pull <laughs> out of there. They're used to that, naturally. You, you found the video. What do you think? Oh my god. Seriously, I love this constantly. It's like insane you know i was the one suggested it obviously you just heard from them but seriously i've known about this video for two years kind of since it's been out you know i just kind of stumbled along it when i was looking around trampolining for no reason oh my god i want to know what happened to that guy because I, I don't think it's severe enough to break his leg but oh my god i love it oh. <laughs> seriously I, I was just laughing for a day the first time i saw that and it was kind of what? His friends don't do anything. They just stand there laughing. And I think I think it's a woman behind the camera or something. I'm not sure. There's a woman in the background. Just laughs. I'm like, oh my god. So funny. Um, seriously guys, I love this YouTube video. I would rank it in one of my top 10 funny comedy kind of things. Accidental comedy, you know. It gets really high. I'd like to mention that as well. How do you get that high on a trampoline without... He did rock one bounce and he got that high. He is a skilled guy at trampolining and an awesome skilled guy at breaking his leg. Even though I'm sure he didn't. So, oh my god. So, that's it for this episode of Future Media Herb. Thanks for joining me, Josh and Jerry. It's great to have you and we'll see you next time.